What's up, fams? We got to talk about this. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that sub button and shout out to my gang, gang, gang. Now, 69ers, we got a problem and hopefully it gets fixed. But uh, let's talk about it. Now, many of people didn't know this, but 6ix9ine was in court today in Manhattan. Now, well, if you guys remember, he was charged back in 2015 on indecency with a child, like sexual misconduct. Like the man had all kinds of charges. Now, he told people that he was 17, but in fact, there's paperwork that proves that he was 18 and the girl was 13. And I know how you 69ers, right? Since he taught you guys a new word, you guys like to scream, where's the paperwork? Well, here's a quote from 6ix9ine. When she came in and asked me how old I was, I told her I was 18 and I assumed she was older. The way she was asking made me think she was older. Anyway, let's move on from that. So 6ix9ine took a plea deal so he didn't have to go to prison, right? Now, with this plea deal, he got off pretty good because, yeah, you're on probation. You can't smoke. You can't do none of that kind of stuff, but you're not in jail. <laughs> what also came with this plea deal, since the fact that he was 18 at the time, I'm guessing the judge was like looking out for him. He probably didn't have all those freaking tats on his face, right? So the judge looking at him like he's some innocent young man. And the judge is like, okay, get your GD. And if you get your GD, you won't have to serve any jail time, right? So two years have passed since they have ordered that. But the problem is 6ix9ine hasn't gotten his GD. So while he was in court today, the judge is pretty upset. She's like, why haven't you completed your GD? You've known for the past two years that you needed to do so. You haven't done it. People from 6ix9ine's team, they're saying that he keeps failing his GD. They're saying that he's passing every subject but science and he keeps failing. The judge is like, OK, no excuse. You have up until April to get your GD. And if you don't, you got to go to jail. So that's what's happening with his case right now. Here's the thing. I don't really know how to feel about this case. But at the end of the day, I don't wish jail on six night, man. Although I don't know everything that happened that night. Right. Like the people who know what really went down is the girl six nine and the guy that was there. Now, he was charged for distributing the videos, meaning that he put them online and you can't just do that. Right. You can't get that kind of material and you expose everyone else online to that kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? So he was charged with that. Not even that. You're not even supposed to have it. So what ended up happening was the mother, she saw video of her daughter like floating around on Facebook or something. Right. Because at the time, six, nine, he was like this prankster dude or whatever so he was going viral at the time you can tell the guy's pretty smart he knows what he's doing and he's going viral for a second time now once the mother saw the video of her daughter like on facebook and stuff she then went to the police and that's when they filed the charges and that's how everything went down now here's the thing i believe six nine is going to take a step back from the internet because he needs to enough of the trolling you got your money you're doing good that's still going to come in. You need to focus on your GED right now. You need to get that to make sure you're still out and you're able to take care of your daughter because clearly you got a second chance at life. And that kind of stuff doesn't really happen for too many people, man. I mean, you're lucky you didn't have to go to jail because if you would have actually went to jail, I don't even know you would even have a career right now. But I wish the best for the dude because at the end of the day, the only people that know what happened that night is 6 9 the girl, and the other guy that was there. He recorded a bunch of stuff, but who knows what else happened. And I'm going to say this, man. I'm not here to tell you guys who you should and shouldn't support. I may make jokes on the dude, but I don't want to see the dude in jail. I don't know what his heart is, but I don't know. I just don't want to see anyone in jail like that. Anyway, at the end of the day, Gummo still bangs. And I said that since day one, man. Even when people hated the dude, I said that. Anyway. You guys have a great day. I'm Dom is live and I'm out.